Welcome back, travelers. It's Dapper Jester here, along with the Batter. And if you remember, we finished Zone 1. And there's nowhere else to go but Zone 2. That Zone 2 is a little bit more pink than Zone 1, but we still have the plastic, and I'm assuming this is metal. Though I don't... There may be pink metal in the world, I'm not sure. But welcome to Zone 2. The names aren't that original, but I like the signs. Speaking of signs, let's go over here and check out this sign. We're in Bismarck. Let's go ahead and head on over to the library. It seems to be the most important thing here. Oh, it's more employees. Tearing out pages to a book, that's horrible unless the book actually requires you to tear out pages. Well, there he goes. Hey, buddy. You're not doing anything wrong? Is there anything on the wall? Nope. Hey, Mr. Librarian. There's more specters here. Seems the batter's intuition was right. By intuition, I mean this was the only place we could go. There's knowledge, man. It's a library. Libraries contain anything but... and a cat? I could be the judge. As you all know, I'm, I'm a big believer of the judge. can't get to floor four. Alright. Well, we'll have to deal with that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and look around the library. And look at all these books. What does this one say? Fleur. The flower. Alright. What about this one? Tales and Legends. The Toad King. Long time ago. Evil King. Mass Man. Kill ya. Yeah. It's just a legend. Let's see. Bismarck. Three guardians to rule some of the zones. The Firebird, chosen as the lord of the second zone. And the Up Children. Oh, God. They are unimaginable. Ugh. A lot of these are kind of hard to read. So, if you want to read them, I advise you to play the game, but it's hard for me to. I have run out of oxygen. Ah, that's from the Run Out of Oxygen series. And these are actually the most important thing you need to know of the, this library. You want to mark these down um, because in Zone 2, the library looks the same on every corner. So those little signs are the only way to tell which side of the library you're on. Yes. If you look at in front of each of the bookshelves I'm going to, the purple light signifies that they're readable, that there's actually a real book there. I'll show an example a little bit further on, but for right now, let's head up to the third floor. This is where the librarian said the books were being ripped apart, or pages. Now, this is a little bit of a mini puzzle. To proceed to the next floor, we're going to have to put together all of the pages. And they're scattered all about the room against the walls. They each have different card families. You know, the Ace of Spades, the Four of Clubs, yada yada yada. Um, it's kind of hard, just like the other ones, to read them. There are some that are more readable than others, which will be good. A little bit more backstory. See, the first Guardian was filled with anger. Anger? It looked like anger. If we head over here, the first guardian, Daedon, was filled with anger. Thanks to strong determination, he ruled his zone with an iron fist. He did definitely seem like he was full of anger. As you see, we got the three clubs in there, so that book is done. And we have the Queen of Spades. Let's go ahead and take it. 
have some upside down ghosts. Let's do a wide angle, see what we are dealing with here. An upside down specter. It's close enough for an upside down ghost. Now, these guys aren't too tough. You hit them with your fury, so run and a regular attack, and it tends to be enough to knock them out. But if you notice, they seem to be getting as strong as the batter does. As he grows in strength, so do they. Now, let's head over here. Totally not the right one. What are we looking for? Queen of Spades. Okay. I believe that's the one on the bottom right here. Indeed it is. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. Let's go pick up the one in the top left corner. Yep, this one. And you can't read a damn thing on it. But I believe this goes over here with this guy. And I think we can read a little bit. Yeah, the second one was something. His kind personality was loved by all. This, this guy seems a lot nicer than Daydon. Maybe he'll help us. Now we found all the pages we can in the library, so we're going to have to head out of the library. And through there, I can show you why you wanted to write down those symbols. Now when you get out here, this scene, the only thing that changes is that arrow. So you have to keep an eye on it if you're going north, south, each one will lead you to a different place. So make sure what your arrow says. Now we want to talk to this guy, he's not afraid for some reason. We would like to know. I don't want to get any closer to you, you're kind of creeping me out, man. Let's see if there's anything over here first. Nope, okay. This page. Yeah, he's not going to give it to you for free, so hand him over 100 credits. And we'll get our last page. Let's take a look at it. Page 33. The third one, inhabitants of his own quickly, although they were happy, something about reality. Hmm. Really would like to know what the third guardian's like. Maybe he's... Maybe Daydon was just angry about life. Alright. Let's head back on upstairs to the third floor and finish these books. I wonder if that guy was the one who was tearing out the pages. He did have a page for some reason. Alright, insert it. Ah, oh, I love that sound. The sound of completion. Yeah, just double check. Have it in sub zone. Eh, can't really read it. But let's head back down to the librarian and tell him that we helped fix all his books. Maybe he'll let us up into the fourth floor. Aha! I don't know why he would use that phrase. But he's gonna let us up to the fourth floor and maybe we'll find the judge up there. Alright, thanks man. He's still looking at the wall. Keep on, keep an eye on that wall, maybe it might turn into something someday. But as you see, we can now head on through. Now here's an example. See how it doesn't have the purple light in front of it? When you talk to it, it's fake. That's right, when you talk to the, the bookshelf. Oh, it is the judge. Hey, judge. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You're not the judge. Well, yeah, I just said that batter. Thanks for that. Who are you, then? Jafet. The creator of this city and leader of the phantoms. Wait, does that mean you're a guardian, but you said you were nice? So unlike Daydon, this guy actually controls the specters, or admits to it at least. And unfortunately, we're going to have to fight him. Hope you guys are ready for a guardian battle part two. Though Jafet doesn't look as deadly as um, Daydon. I mean, it feels bad for me to say, but let's do a wide angle on this guy. Royal Guardian of Zone 2, second boss. Alright, with this battle, you just want to hit him with your strongest attacks. 
Um, I like to cast the poison attack that Alpha has on Jafet first round, and then that way you get like an extra attack every round. You never discard manners as a gentleman. You must always remain dapper. That's why my name is the Dapper Jester. Dance together and echo the song of the righteous. He... Well, I mean, I guess he lives in a library, so it would make sense that he's well-versed in words. Almost as good as the judge. Yeah, the phantoms aren't going to come to help him, so... But don't, don't take him lightly. He still can hit you pretty hard. And he actually does. Yeah, he takes about 2, 250 health from you, but... As long as you keep attacking him, he goes down pretty quickly afterwards. You don't, you shouldn't need to heal. If you're about level 7, level 8, you'll be perfectly fine. And there we go. We've killed the Guardian of Zone 2. I, I guess we're done here. There you go. I was even level 6. You've lost Jaffa, Jaffet. Hey, that looks like Alpha. Yeah, see, all these shells are fake. Add-on Omega has joined you. Now we've got Omega. Let's take a look at it. There's Alpha. It's class Sun. So now we have the father and son. Yeah, he's just third character, if you will. None of the add-ons will ever talk, but... Definitely doesn't hurt to have an extra pair of hands in the battle. Let's go ahead and save. And he has inverse perspective. Cures blindness and muteness. That'll be useful. It doesn't, doesn't help to have the batter muted when he's needing to heal. Now I wonder if the librarian knew that the cat was actually the guardian of zone 2. I say we go find out. See if he put us up to it. No, I'm the batter. Well, he's the batter. I'm the, I'm the judge? No, I'm not the judge. I'm the dapper jester. Well, guys, we met the guardian of zone 2 already, Jafet the cat. Seems a little well-spoken and a little insane if you ask me, but that was a good start to zone 2. Next episode, we're going to go explore more of Bismarck than just the library. But until then, safe travel, everyone.